Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you rhythm stick math. This is really a lot of fun for the children and sometimes it can get quite loud but that's all right. The children are engaged and learning. You will need to have wood dowels if you do not have rhythm sticks and I just purchased mine from our craft, our local scrap craft store with Michaels and they sell them in packages like this. They're 12 inches long and I believe this one is 7 sixteenths um, the, the circumference around. And I recommend that that's the best size size to use. If you cannot find these in a package um, already cut up, they do sell just the long dowels. I think they're like a yardstick length, and um, so those you can cut into 12-inch pieces. But you want to make sure um, that if you do that, that the ends are nice and smooth, and everywhere the children are going to touch are nice and smooth. You don't want splinters. So the, these are really nice the ones that are um, pre-cut already, and you can just use them plain or um, you can paint them and children really have a lot of fun painting their their rhythm sticks and um, I just put the initials on the bottom of them and that's how they know that that's theirs. Before we do begin um, this activity I, I tell the children that these are to be used gently, that we tap gentle and they're not to be used to hurt or hit anybody else and sometimes um, sometimes it happens where a younger child will be tapping somebody else and I give warnings and after um, two warnings if that behavior doesn't stop then the rhythm sticks are taken away and children have the child has to clap which this activity can be done with just clapping as well you don't have to use rhythm sticks but um, I think hanging on to stuff and moving around is um, more engaging for the children but it can be done with clapping as well and again if children are um, tapping or bothering other children with their rhythm sticks, I warn them, I warn them, and then the rhythm sticks are removed, and for that time they have to just clap along for the activity. And this activity can be done in several ways. I always start out with um, myself doing the counting, or I would tap one, two, three, four, but I don't say it, so I would just, and then the children would have to listen and be able to tap back what I just tapped. So I did one, two, three, four, and then they would tap back. So that's one way of doing it, just coming up with different numbers in your head and having the children repeat those back to you. So they have to think, how many was that? That was two. And so they have to be able to listen and count how many in their head that that was. Another way that I do it is I call out a number and I'll say five. And so we go, and then the children would count out the five. We could do three. Um, we do it that way. Uh, a third way we do it is we have one child begin with one. The next child would go two. And you just move along your circle. Next child would be three. Next child would be four. And you would just continue. So there's a variety of ways that uh, you can use these rhythm sticks for math activities. Um, and again, it's based on the age of the group that you have. And so you wouldn't want to go up to 30 when you have two-year-olds doing it. So you have to adjust it to the age level of your group. But um, these are wonderful to use, and the children really love to use them as well. For Rhythm Stick Math, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com. And thanks for watching.